We have locations in Portland, Salem, Eugene, and Bend. Today I have Rip. Rip is an eight-month-old American Labrador, and he is here for our two-week board and train program. Uh, Rip is here because, you know, like every American Lab, he is a wild little puppy, um, very inquisitive, exploring, wants to investigate everything. Um, he's also very, very social, wants to go say hi to everybody, um, run around and play with every dog he sees, and um, just really kind of wild and, and just kind of doing whatever he wants. So we are going to lay down a really solid foundation of obedience, give him some structure, leadership, a bit of guidance, and show him what it means to be you know, a well-mannered dog. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the e-collar on him. Um, that's gonna allow us to get him to focus on us a little bit better and uh, kind of leave his environment, the distractions, the smells, uh, the, anything that moves alone, and uh, pay attention to us and do what we're asking him to do. Um, being that he's a lab, he, he uh, once we tap into that a little bit, he should be eager to please us, and that should really get the ball rolling, get him excited about training, um, and make things easier. We're gonna get him a really solid recall so that he can have the ability, when it's appropriate, to be off leash and uh, come back every time his owner calls him so it's, it's safe and uh, he can you know run and stretch his legs when, when it's appropriate, but uh, be safe about it. We're also gonna work on his leash pulling. Hey, leave it. Um, leave it. He pulls like crazy. He just does whatever he wants. You know, he's, he's kind of oblivious to the fact that someone's holding the leash and he just goes wherever he wants, regardless of, um, you know, someone trying to hold on to the leash or, or uh, you know, giving him leash pressure. He, he doesn't really realize that we don't want him just wandering around where he wants to go. Um, we're gonna teach him how to heal nicely right next to us so that when we do walk him, he is not pulling, not you know, exploring everything, um, and just kind of keeping the leash loose, having good manners right beside us. Um, and then we're going to work a lot on impulse control. You know, being that he's still a puppy, he wants to just do whatever strikes his fancy whenever it does. And we are going to get him, you know, leaving things alone, ignoring, sitting and staying when we ask him to, um, sitting on place when we ask him to and just letting the world go by without feeling like he needs to pick everything up with his mouth or investigate every little thing. So we're going to take two weeks to do that. Um, stay tuned and we will show you Rip, perfectly behaved, on and off leash, uh, really awesome recall and controlling his impulses when, when there's lots of distractions. So stay tuned for that. Thanks.
Imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well, it's not as far-fetched as it may seem. In fact, both local San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get a service just like that started. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system.